Oh, umbrellas. I, I just, I just came back from the future. <laughs> I mean, is this a first time watch? Technically, no. I watched this movie when I was like 10, and that's when I was underdeveloped. I mean, I'm still am underdeveloped, but even then, I was even more underdeveloped. <laughs> I've just woke up, man. <laughs> Let's go. Back to the future. The only thing I do remember of this is the fact that there's a time machine and they go back to the future. <laughs> also, fun fact, I don't know why I know this. This movie's banned in China. Why? Like, what made it so impactful that it had to be banned from China? Aha, I get it because he's playing with time. And it is expected to vote on this today. In other news, more than noticing, this is all taken in one shot so far. Authority have denied the rumor that a case of missing plutonium was in fact. There's no way this is a one shot take movie. Imagine. Is that why it got banned? It was too good. <laughs> the FBI was still oh my matter. god, no, I got banned because of that toast. Why the f Look at this. Who in the right mind? would eat that. That's like eating charcoal. You're not gonna have teeth after you eat that piece of bread. Right, so whoever this is, is a genius, but also a lazy shit. My ears about to blow. Oh wow, oh wow, wow. <laughs> You can tell he's experienced in the finger game. <laughs> you mother. Hey, if it isn't Milo. See, I just watched Atlantis the other week, and now this whole movie, I'm just gonna call him Milo. <laughs> Why? You just got him expelled. Oh, Toys R Us. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. The nostalgia. Oh god, the, the nostalgia. Toys R Us. If you don't know what this is, get out. Get out. Culture yourself. In a row. Yeah, but that's not his fault. I think safe. That's his friend playing with so clocks. Why would he make his clocks 25 minutes slow? You remind me of your father when he went here. He was a slacker too. Uh, how old are you? Too much like your old man. No McFly ever amounted to anything in the history of Hill Valley. I feel like this is just some sort of verbal abuse now. <laughs> I'm all for motivating your students, but that's just general bullying. <laughs> that's what a shithead. Oh, oh, we are lunged. I'm afraid you're just too darn loud. Huh, <laughs> huh, hold it though. Use our shit. Yeah, I know, I know. If you put your mind to it, you can accomplish anything. That's good advice, buddy. You unloyal prick. Go dump his ass right now. Throw a couple of sleeping bags in the back. <laughs> I wonder what that innuendo is. <laughs> well, he just wants to sleep. That's why. That kind of stuff when she was a kid. I mean, look, I think the woman was born a nun. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was that your own mother? I think the woman was born a nun. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm your mom, I'm disowning your ass. <laughs> Save the clock tower. Save the clock tower. Shut up. I love you, but you just gave him your number. Right. Yeah. This really does have just such a classic feel to it. I don't know, have I ever did a classic movie on this channel? I don't think I have. Without telling me it had a blind spot. Blind spot. I could have been killed. Is that Trump? I haven't finished those up yet, but you know, I, I figured since they were due to- oh. Hello? Hello? Anybody home? Oh. Uh, think McFly? Oh. Think! Oh, your dad is such a loser. Oh no, wait, I take it back, the principal's really? right. <laughs> you really didn't amount to anything. Say hi to your mom for me. 
What's the shtick with him and his mother? Is his mother, I mean, to be fair, I mean, <laughs> to be fair, if I was married to that, no offense, I might cheat on you too. <laughs> but seriously, is she actually cheating on him? Or like, did they have a thing back in the day? Or does he just find her attractive? You're absolutely right, Mike. The last thing you need is headaches. Oh, I'm uncomfortable. Your Uncle Joey didn't make parole again. <laughs> Major embarrassment having an uncle in prison. You look like Velma. Any girl who calls up a boy is just asking for trouble. Oh my. And that's why you ended up with this guy. This family is fucking delusional. It'll just happen. Like the way I met your father. <laughs> just the way I met your father. God damn, I have regrets. <laughs> what? Anyway, your grandpa hit him with the car. Bird watching. Nah. Wait a minute, hold on. Anyway, your grandpa hit him with so the you... car. So you... Ha, hold on. So you just met because he was in the middle of the street bird watching and he got ran over. I don't think this guy is bird watching. Going by his characteristics, I think he's a stalker. Your father kissed me for the very first time on that dance floor. And that was the last time probably. <laughs> but I was going to spend the rest of my life with him. Oh my gosh, she wants to kill herself. <laughs> and I would too, honestly. <laughs> oh, doggy! Einstein. Hey, Einstein. Where's the dog, boy? Einstein. Oh, so that was the dog's bowl to start. Oh, this. Oh, his owner neglects him. Isn't that a car? That's like a time machine. I bet you whatever make this car is, the sales skyrocketed after this movie. Yeah. Welcome to my latest experiment. This is a big one. The one I Yeah, why are you still associated with each other? Like why are you friends with him? What is their relationship? I would love to know how they met. Have a good trip, Einstein. <laughs> Have a good trip, dog. You may not come back alive, but hopefully. <laughs> happening miles per hour you're gonna see some serious shit <laughs> and seems like what the f did he piss himself why did you just look at his crotch what's this what's this what ah you try to kill him! Holy sh! Ah, what did I tell you? That was his first time experimenting with that. And he put Marty in a life or death situation. He had a lot of trust in his calculations. I don't know if he, this guy is a proper genius. I mean, clearly he has made a bloody time machine. But I also think he is actually insane. Ah, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, Doc, you disintegrated Einstein. <laughs> right? Marty's asking the good questions. <laughs> I sent him into the future. Into the future? See, I thought they would go back to the past because they're going back to the future. So if they're going to the future, shouldn't we call going back into the past? Because they have to get back in the past if they're in the future to get back to the current time. I don't even know if that made sense, actually. <laughs> Are you telling me that you built a time machine? Seriously, why would you choose that car? Why not like a Lamborghini or something? <laughs> a Ro why not like a Rolls Royce or something? A Mercedes maybe? <laughs> Is Einstein dead? Is he turned into a dogsicle? Why, what? Is it hot? It's cold. Damn cold. Is it hot? Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Maybe the fact that the car is covered in ice. I, I think it actually might be cold. <laughs> My mind is still ticking. Right. He's all right. He's fine. What does that He's mean? He's complete. He skipped over that minute to instantly arrive at this moment in time. Oh. So, like, let's just say wherever he was, he could have been there for five years. But as he's teleported back into this current time, it's still the same time as when he left. See, see, time travel is always a bit confusing. <laughs> 
was the day I invented time travel. <laughs> it just casually drops the line. Oh yeah, that's when I invented time travel. You know, the thing I could actually break the time... Like, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the thing I could, <laughs> yeah, the thing I could maybe destroy the world and break the cycle of the time space continuum, <laughs> just casually drops it. Makes time travel possible. The flux capacitor. Flux capacitor. Has it been that long? Things have certainly changed around here. It took him thirty years to make that. To be fair, you have to give him props. That is dedication. Plutonium. Uh, plutonium. Wait a minute. Are you? Plutonium. How the hell did he get authorization to purchase nuclear substances for a time travel car machine? <laughs> Who checked that off? I would think they're crazy. Doc, you don't just walk into a store and, and buy plutonium. Facts. Did you rip that off? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's get you a radiation suit. We must prepare to reload. I like him. Right, 25 years into the future. I've always dreamed of seeing the future and looking beyond my... 25 years in the future. This is year 1985. 25 years into the future is 2010. Doc, if I'm you, go back. Go back. You, you, you don't want to come here. <laughs> seeing the progress of mankind. Seeing the progress of mankind. <laughs> well, you're going to be very disappointed. <laughs> uh, Doc. Huh? Uh, look me up. Because we are screwed. <laughs> I almost forgot to bring extra plutonium. How did I ever expect to get back? One pellet, one trip. I must be out of my mind. Is that the mob that's after him? Oh my god. They found me. I don't know how, but they found me. Ah! Dude, does he die? And that's why they go back in time. Ah! Ah! Oh my god. Is he getting punked? Is this like a scat? Did he actually just die? I'm getting like breaking bad vibes. <laughs> instead of instead of cooking meth though, it's time travel. Wait, so he's gonna go back to 1955. He's gonna go up to 80 miles per hour, isn't he? Just trying to get away. An RPG. <laughs> what the is this movie so far? See if you bastards can do 90. Can do 90? No, let's see if you bastards can do time travel. Did he just forget he was in a time machine? Look! <laughs> Aliens! He thinks he's an alien! With the mask as well. <laughs> oh, shut up, man. <laughs> this is crazy. Take that, you mutated son of a bitch! You kill my pain! <laughs> oh, that's his estate he lives in. It's not even built yet. Listen, you gotta help me. God damn, he's not that ugly. He's actually quite a good looking man. <laughs> See, for a person that is now 30 years in the past, he is holding all this in extremely well. If that's me, I'm freaking out. I'm thinking my life is over. Wait, you're 30 years in the past. You can tell what happens in the future. He could be a fing billionaire. He can predict what's going to happen. He should just stay there. He could literally be a millionaire. <laughs> Great, he's alive. Oh my god, he's gonna think you're crazy, isn't he? Is that why he's crazy? I had a revelation. Is Doc Brown crazy because Mari visited him in the past and that's what made him think of the flux capacitor and that's what made him crazy? Is this like a cycle? I'm talking to you, McFly, you Irish bug. <laughs> In your handwriting? 
I'll get kicked out of school. Have you really been his side? Have you really been his bitch for 30 years? Dork thinks he's gonna drown. Yeah. So, uh, how about my homework, McFly? I love, and I love how he just doesn't even know that's his son right next to him. Yeah, who are you? Say, what you <laughs> let just those boys push you? Right, he's gonna be mayor. Yeah, I'm mayor is the reason he becomes mayor. This is all just parallels. I'm not even proud that I actually predicted that, right? <laughs> that is so sad. <laughs> so is that his mum? He's a peeping Tom. Yeah, he is. And is that is that your mum? Dad! Oh, f Come on out here, help me take him in the house! Wait, wasn't his dad supposed to be run over? Oh my god, you f***ed it. This is why I don't play with time. Is he gonna screw up? Is he gonna screw up the look? You're my mom. mother. My name is Don't Lily. don't be sex attracted to your babe. mother. Don't be weird, yeah. kids. She's so thin. I've never seen purple underwear before, Calvin. Wait! Oh, wait! What else did you see, woman? Oh my God! This is your son. Oh no! Written all over your underwear. <laughs> How big an ego must you think he has to have his name on his own underwear? <laughs> you better. Do you mind if I say oh, did you just get a bono? No, fine. You sicko. Gotta get used to these bars, kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're going in jail. <laughs> Look at the way she's looking at him. She's head over heels for him already. So how does she get with his dad then? Because that's the whole point. But no, that hasn't happened yet. If he, if she doesn't get with Marty's dad, he doesn't exist anymore. That means he dies. And I've seen this one. This is a classic. This is uh, where Ralph dresses up as a man from space. How dumb is he? I don't think he's actually clocked on that he's fair years in the past and things haven't happened yet. He should just... <laughs> Why do you look so familiar to me? Do I know your mother? <laughs> Town, don't you think he ought to spend the night? Oh my god, your mother is so horny. I gotta go. Uh, I gotta go. Thanks very much. It was... I feel so uneasy right now. <laughs> Lorraine, you ever have a kid who acts that way, I'll disown you. <laughs> well, you better this one, hurrah. Just give me 30 years. <laughs> Oh my god, he's minted! He's a millionaire! I mean, invented I mean, invented time travel, of course, he's a millionaire. Doc, I don't want to know your name. I don't want to know anything about- That can't be Einstein. I'm gonna read your thoughts. Let's see now, you- Do you know him? A great distance? Yeah, exactly! Oh, don't tell me! Oh no, I forgot he's actually mentally insane. Do you know what this means? I am a genius? Is that this? Damn thing doesn't work at all. <laughs> Christopher Lloyd is perfect for this role. <laughs> Mediocre photographic fakery. They cut off your mother's hair. <laughs> Damn, this guy knew full shot before it was even a thing. Time <laughs> travel possible. Oh, he's like, you're telling the truth. <laughs> Capacitor. Ah, so he actually already did think of it before Marty came here. Damn, this must feel... He he must feel so crazy though, that knowing that he's actually going to succeed in making this thing now. I finally invent something that works! <laughs> yes! I'm finally not a goddamn failure! Look at me! I'm an old man! Hey, I'm Dr. Brown. <laughs> Donnie, you look the exact same. <laughs> Yes. Th this is absolute science talk, man. <laughs> you science geeks out there must love this movie. <laughs> what the hell is a gigawatt? Like, a gigawatt? What are you juggling? I can't be stuck here, I got a life in 1985. Are you not even gonna try? Is she pretty? Oh, she's she pretty? <laughs> That's the thing that matters most. Is your girlfriend pretty? <laughs> this is it. 
is the end. What is what? That a bolt of lightning is going to strike the clock tower precisely 10 04. Oh, the lightning struck the clock tower and it hasn't worked since. They, bring, they can predict when lightning's gonna strike. So he's also the reason the clock tower doesn't work. That lady with the specs you met earlier, if she knew she'd have killed you. You must not leave this house. You must not see anybody or talk to anybody. <laughs> really now? Oh, well, um, I've already met my dad. I've met my mom. I've met my whole family. I ruined their relationship. Is, is that too late? <laughs> You interacted with anybody else today besides me? Yes. Let me see that photograph again of your brother. Oh. I f***ed that. Erased from existence. That's oh, that's clever. So the picture is an indication of when everyone's basically not going to exist anymore. When everyone that picture is fully erased, you don't exist. Your sister will follow, and unless you repair the damage, you'll be next. Right, because you messed up your parents' relationship and your own mother wants your dick, you're not going to exist anymore because she's not going to have you. You guys are being real mature. Maybe we were adopted. <laughs> Hit me with the car. <laughs> ah, no, he realizes how messed up he made it all. Hi, it's really a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> she, ha she has no interest in him. <laughs> Together. Nothing. Nothing. No, absolutely nothing. The only thing like to do together is get run over by cars. Anybody read my stories? Why not? Because he's a creep. She really likes you. I can't stop looking at this. Where is it coming from? How? What strand of hair is doing this? Is this just glued onto him? Out of everything in this movie so far, this is the most craziest thing I've seen. Nice, just the casual molesting in high school. That kind of girl. Ooh. Well, maybe you are. And you just There's so much molesting in this movie, I've realized. I'll miss my favorite television program, Science Fiction Theater. <laughs> George, shut up! I overslept. Look, I need your help. <laughs> so because he thought Mario was an alien, and the alien told him he has to do it now, he... I don't think I've ever seen a bigger loser in television and cinema in my life. <laughs> and told me that if I didn't take Lorraine out, that he'd melt my brain. <laughs> oh, with threats! With threats, I like that. You give the consequence of death, anyone will do anything. Ooh. Give me a milk. You did not just say with your chest! Give me a milk. <laughs> Yes, because that's that makes you look very manly. <laughs> Sucking on some milk. <laughs> Wait a minute. Don't I know you from somewhere? Oh no, it's it's cartons. It's cartons, it's game over. Marty, you're going to die. <laughs> George McFly. I'm your density. Density. D yes, you are pretty bloody dense. You mean destiny. Oh. And you're fly. I'm about to lose it. <laughs> Everyone's so gullible in this. Everyone, Everyone is gullible and a molester. Did he just make the world's first skateboard? Is Mario McFly the reason Tony Hawk exists? Ah, uh, I don't think I could ever recover from that. I don't think I could ever recover knowing my mom was physically attracted to me. So I presume Mori does go back to his natural time. And when he does, will his mother realise who he is? Is his mom's perception going to change and he's going to realise, oh my god, I had a crush on you like 30 years ago, but how? You weren't even born yet. Oh my god, that is hard. Oh! I mean, I do see why all the ladies were smitten over him now. I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. <gasps> Sexual tension and her eyes! Doc? Oh, hi, Mike. Does he know he dies? Dan. 
I do understand. If I know too much about my own future, I get in danger of my own existence. How messed up must you feel? I don't know if I could cope knowing when I was going to die. Like, that would just scare me, knowing on that date I'm going to die. Can I change it? I don't know. directly into the flux capacitor. Right, that seems quite self-explanatory. And sending you back to 1985. All right, now. That seems too simple. There's no way it's going to be that easy. So what's the catch? Is Biff going to be the one to ruin it? So you plan on burning him alive? <laughs> and yourselves? <laughs> I think so. What did she say? What she said is that I plan on stalking my own son for sexual reasons. That sentence sounds so crazy, yet it's true in this movie. This movie is mental. It's your mom. She's trapped you down. That's your mom. <laughs> she actually has a stalker as well. Because <laughs> uh, I was following you creepishly. Enchantment under the sea dance on Saturday. Imagine he says yes. <laughs> You're kind of cute and all, but uh, not. Not my son. And protect the woman he loves. <laughs> Look at Dog Brown's face. <laughs> He's such a man. <laughs> It's fucking iconic. You're gonna be in the car with her. Right, okay, so right around nine o'clock. Oh, and you're gonna beat him up. Oh, that's smart. Well, because George, nice girls get angry when not. Uh, I cannot believe the amount of sexual abuse in this movie. This is crazy. I'm actually speechless. You mean you're gonna go touch her on her. No, no. Yes, yes. I know it's an act, but it's still just mad. All of it's mad. This whole movie's mad. I had to swear. Yes, definitely. God damn it, George. Swear. Swear? Where's the swear word? Damn's a swear word? Damn's not a swear word. If you put your mind to it, you can accomplish any- Words to live by. Whatever you've got to tell me, I'll find out through the natural course of time. Can he not, like, travel? Like one minute before Doc dies in 1985 and just say, oh, you're about to die, let's run. Like you all know how much I love Death and Sun Umbrellas, but if I, if this ends with Doc dying, then I'm actually going to be sad. Yeah, but you just have to look. <sighs> I mean, I don't want him to die, but surely this is going to mess everything up like it has with everything else. Oh, just... Little weather experiment. George should die. I want George to die. He's so weird. Of course I do. And I like Biff because Biff is a bully and sometimes bullying, bullying helps. I'm such a mean person. I'm so evil. I don't mean it, most of it. It's not like I've never parked before. What? What does that even mean? Ah! Later in life. Don't be such a square. <laughs> a square? A squ I've never heard someone insult someone by calling them a square. It's like, oh yeah, you geometrical shape. You're ugly. What's the difference between calling someone a square and a triangle? What's the difference? Aren't all shapes supposed to be in geometrical harmony? Right. Well, you know you had to act a certain way, but when you got stop looking, stop looking. Oh my god, stop looking, stop looking, stop looking. Every everyone's a creep. Everyone's a creep. Everyone's a creep. Oh my god, everyone's a creep. How are you supposed to act on a first date? I don't care if they're huge. I don't care if it's pretty. I don't care if anything. That's your goddamn mother. Kissing my brother. You kiss your brother? How would you know? Oh! How would you know what that is like unless you've done it? What's happening here? This is disgusting. This is absolutely vile. Okay, now I hope Biff dies too. I hope Biff George dies. I hope Mar Mar needs a beat up. That was really weird the way he was looking at his own mother. And the and the worst thing is the only person that's died so far is Doc, the best character. Say that again. I said the keys are in here. <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> oh my god, he's gonna have a heart attack when he realizes who it is. Hey you, in case 
Get your damn hands off. Oh, shit. George, help me. Please. Just turn around. Please. Please help her. You're literally witnessing a crime. Do something! No, Biff. Yes. You leave her alone. Yes! Finally! He has some balls! Oh, but yes. No, I don't let the woman come to the rescue. George, come on, man! That's right, close your knuckles, that's how you punch. God damn! This guy's Mike Tyson! Look, act okay? cool. Damn, and now you just switch on Mori just like that. I mean, I'm happy you're no longer into your son, but god damn woman. <laughs> That's George McFly? Wait, they're still disappearing? Unless uh, you know somebody else that can play the guitar. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is his time to shine, my boy. Even though he's ass. Fly, cutting in. <laughs> Who the f are you, Rick Ashley? Is this Rick Ashley before puberty? You alright? Oh my god, is he dying? <laughs> I mean, that green screen is terrible, but you have to take into the consideration what time this is actually at. <coughs> Who are you and what have you done with George McFly? Ah, oh, that is so good. Oh, that is awesome. Oh, uh, you, I mean, you can just see why this is a classic. This deserves to be up there with the greats. When did you get good? There's no way that's him singing, right? That is so good. Where the hell did that come from? Okay, now you're just flexing now. Be humble, McFly. They're like, you good? But your kids are gonna love it. <laughs> Will we ever see you again? Yes, as I come out your vis- <laughs> Well, uh, good luck. These, these jokes have been really gruesome. I, I am so sorry. Oh, easy on them. Okay. <laughs> They're like, what are you talking about? Marty, such a nice name. <laughs> and he's gonna be called Marty because he's called Marty. <laughs> Saturday destination this time. Is the exact time you left. No, 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 no. Do it five minutes before. He's discovered the letter. Oh! Oh my God! More nature ruins everything. My ass is sweating. Oh, I have to tell you about the future. That is so annoying. You know he's going to not want to hear it. So just say it. Don't announce yourself. Oh yeah, this is what I'm going to tell you. No, just say it. Make sure he hears it and can't have a chance to just shut off. Do you want him to die? He just wants him to die. It's time you get <laughs> Oh! Doc, why did you have to tear up that letter? I only had more time. You do. You're in a f time machine. I got all the time I want. I got a time machine. Hallelujah! Oh my God, that's maybe the first time he's actually used his brain cell this whole movie. Flux capacitor. Fluxing. <laughs> the flux capacitor. It, it is fluxing. <laughs> come on, come on. You prepared everything. But you didn't put petrol in it. That's rookie errors for time travel. Oh god damn! Wait, he may die here, let alone 30 years from now. Wait, ain't he gonna get electrocuted if he touches that? I told you, it was far too easy. They're trying to give us a mini heart attack right now. What? How are you gonna get down there? Am I about, am I about to see this man zip plane down there? 
I mean, he had to admit he's, a, he's committed to the cause. Oh my god, did he just die? Oh, he's alive. Did I see that right? This man should be cooked. Look at the absolute volts going through him right now. How is he not turning into a barbecue? Haha. <laughs> Oh, he's so happy. This movie is so charming and charismatic. You actually feel for the characters. Oh, 124. I still got time. Come this is the only Mar McFly in this time period now, right? Look, how is this going to work? Why is he running? It's not like he just got out of a car that can drive. I'm telling you, he just wants to die. And he's dead again. You had one job. You had one job. You know what? The biggest failure in this movie isn't Doc. It's Marty. Bruh. I don't... So how does he go back to his time where there's literally only one Marty now in this universe? Well, that's his shit. No. <laughs> Wait, what? You're alive. How? Oh my god, is he wearing a bulletproof vest? But then how did he know he could potentially get shot today? How did he know that? Or what, does he always just walk about with a bulletproof vest on? That's what I'm saying! I, I never got a chance to tell you. You son of a bitch. He gave it the big I am. Gave it I want to know nothing. As he leaves. Actually, no, I'm actually curious. <laughs> what a hypocrite. <laughs> Not all that talk about screwing up your events. Yep. Mm-hmm. Well, I figured. What the hell? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Nice round number. Look me up when you get there, alright? Ah, right. So he, this, he is back in his universe now. Like, the other Marty won't come back anymore. What about the terrorists? Are they at least in jail? <laughs> is your dad still a wimp? Does your mom still fancy you? Hello. Good morning. <sighs> oh my god. Has George took Biff's job? Is he now, like, the big dog? Is he filthy rich now? Is he cool? Good morning, sleepyhead. So your mum has no recollection that you've actually met before. Well, mom, we talked about this, but how can I go to the lake? I'm sorry, if I looked at a past relationship where I find someone, and 30 years later, I give birth to the person that looks exactly like that, I'm going to freak out a bit. I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. McFly. He's a car cleaner. Oh, wow, how the mighty have fallen. <laughs> wasn't for him, we never would have fallen in love. <laughs> if it wasn't for him, <laughs> you never would have fallen in love. Yes, I just had to beat his ass. <laughs> God damn, give me a time machine. I want to be rich. Oh no. You know shit's about hit the fan when this guy comes back though. <laughs> Where? Back to the future. Why? <laughs> Kids, Marty. Something has got to be done about your kids. Oh, what are they bullies? Con men? Geeks? What? What could be such a crisis that you have to go to the future to change your kids? Unless, unless they die, what? We don't need roads. Ah, uh, uh, right. I get, I get it. Because it can now fly. <laughs> it's very punny. <laughs> Well, that was tremendous. I was skeptical at first if this could really live up to being that good, to being a classic like I've heard. It really is. Let me know down below and realize what other movies I can watch. They can be bad, good. I'll just try and make it a good experience for you all. Check out my Patreon as well. And with that being said, I'll see you all back in the future. <laughs> Get it? Because I'll see you in the future next week. Yeah, okay, I'm going to go. Bye.